man it's hot this is Keith Cage's Garage um, I need to change the blades on my mower my zero turn mower and I thought I had some ones that are already sharpened but I don't so I want to show you what I'm gonna do here's my stockpile of dull blades these are ones that I've used that are not sharp anymore so you can see it's all it edges are very round so I'm gonna sharpen I need three blades I don't know how many blades I have here three six nine ten. I have twelve so what do I have I mean I could do I have a set of four I can change it four times um, so it takes a long time to sharpen the blades and I don't have maybe an hour maybe to sharpen them you know all 12 and then if I'm sharpening all of them I might as well take the ones that are on the mower already and sharpen those so I have all brand new sharp ones sharpened ones so I don't think I want to spend the time doing that I'm just gonna sharpen three three blades and then swap them out uh, and I'm gonna show you what I use um, so I just showed you the blades I have this I'm trying to get I'm trying to show you this uh, vice right here I have this this vice that is mobile that I can move around <clears throat> and I have a vice right here but I don't want to what I do is I put the blade in the vice that that's what I'm getting at and sharpen it on the vise. I don't want to sharpen the blade here in the shop. It gets, it throws metal all over the place. I have, oh, look at that. I need a new stone, apparently. But I could sharpen here, same deal. It throws metal all over, all over the place. The easiest thing I have found, and I used to pay to get blades sharpened. And then one day I was like, and I'm like, I asked them, I go, how do you sharpen the blades? And I even bought, I don't know if I still have it, I don't know, there's a special tool you, you can use like to sharpen it. That's garbage. You, on these commercial mowers, on these blades, it, it, that thing's junk. It has a, a piece of plastic on one side and a stone on the other side on, a, on an angle, and you're supposed to just keep running on your drill. That took forever. That's not what you want to use. Um, what I use is I just take uh, where's the grinder? This, this grinder. Oh, i got to change the wheel. It has the wrong pad thing on it. But I like this one with the paddle, the paddle on off switch, because when you let go of it, it stops. So this is a really old, I mean, I got it from Harbor Freight. It's a really old one. I probably want to get a new one. I think I might actually get a new one after this video, <laughs> after I um, do these uh, blades. But yeah, this I like it because you let go of it, it stops. I have another one in here, and it's got a switch on the side, on and off. So you turn it on, obviously it goes on, and it just stays on. So if you drop it or you you don't want to grind anymore, you gotta actually it's it's a little less it's a little less safe. So I like this one better. But I need to change the, the disc on there. But I just use a, a grinding disc somewhere in here. Yeah. Let's see what's this here. Yeah. So a metal grinding wheel four and a half inch and i'll put this on on there and i want to show you this little tip right here i zip tied the tool to the to the cord because the tool is how you get this off you put this on here you turn it you hit the this button here to stop it from rotating so it won't rotate anymore I let go of it, it spins um so the tool's on there Obviously, I took the guard off. Oh no. Also, I find my face mask. I use a face shield. You'll see all this when I'm actually doing it. But I have this face shield. I try glasses and stuff like that, but it's still, the sparks still shoot on your chest and your neck and everything. So that thing helps protect it. <clears throat> so I'll use that. Um, and then I have, so I have this vice here I put the blade in here and I put it I take this whole thing and just put it outside that's probably why you see like rust spots on the floor here 
because I'll grind the I'll grind the blades out here so the metal just disappears just disappears I don't know where it goes into the ground feeding the ground some iron um, yeah that's it all right so I'm gonna set this all up change the blade and I'll show you what oh also I want to say this the reason why I started doing my own blades was there, there, there was a time where There was a time. Oh my god! Hot. There was a time where the whole the lawnmower was shaking like crazy, and I kept getting the blade sharpened at the shop, at the lawnmower shop. So then I'm like, I wonder if they check these for balance. And I took the blade. I can show you. I took one of the blades that I just had sharpened, and this right here is a little balancer the blade balancer it's just got a little I probably want to buy a new one it's a little plastic deal and this sits on there and you put the blade on here and it just balances so here's a blade an old blade I put it on here and that is pretty balanced so what happened was I, I went and got the blade from the shop put it on here it's like boink right away I was like, are you kidding me? So they, they weren't balancing them or anything. So that was the last time I, I had the blades done at a shop. I bought the little balancer. It's not that expensive. I'll, I'll put a link. And I do, I just do it myself now. And I check them, make sure they're balanced. I mean, if it's not that hard, if, if this end's going down, you gotta take more material, material off here so it goes over the other way. If it if all of a sudden it's that way, you, you just got to figure out. So you take material off the side that's going down. So anyway, I'm gonna do three of these blades, then change them on the mower. I've already I've done videos on how to change the blades on the mower. I'm not gonna do that again. But I just want to show you how I sharpen them. And like I said, it takes a while to sharpen 14 blades. I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna do three. Um, you can see here this blade looks pretty good right here I don't know if it's showing up on camera but when it gets over here this is just round this is not what happens when you do that when you cut the grass with a blade like this it doesn't actually I mean it it rips the grass more than cuts it it rips the, the grass and it and a lot of times it just folds it down it just hits it and it folds down it doesn't actually do a good job you want it to be sharp so when it hits it just slices the grass right off so I know the blades that are on there now have gone through a lot. I ran over a bunch of twigs and sticks and stuff like that. And I heard and my son's been cutting the grass and I've heard him hit stuff. And I know we've hit the, some cement before. So those, those blades are probably shot. So definitely I'm going to change them with these new ones. All right, let me set up and I'll show you where I'm at. So here's the blade. You can see it's like a, a chip right here, a bend and it's all round. I'm gonna to try to get all this nice and cleaned up. I want it to look like this. There's some actual angle that it needs to have. I don't know. Um, I don't know, remember what the angle is, but it needs to be like this. So I actually need two hands to do this, but I'm gonna to try to video it. And this is what I look like. So that's what I look like. And I have the shield on and all this stuff. All right, let's see. You just want to have it where you can you can see where it's shiny in spots and then dull. Make it shiny the whole thing. And then I go on the other side and just straight up. Actually, actually, I leave one glove off so I can see how sharp it is. Oh, man, that's 
sharp. Not so sharp over here, but very sharp here. But it's pretty good. Now, undo it. And I just want to show you on the I just want to show you on the balancer. Let's see what it looks like. Alright, so now obviously the side that I haven't cut yet is heavier than this side because it's the side I cut. So I'm just going to go do the same thing on all the other blades. You know, you got to do it. takes a while. I don't know how long that just took, but a couple minutes. Um, cut uh do all the rest of them and i'll be back hopefully you can hear me in this hopefully you can hear me in this um and i'll be back with all fresh blades all fresh cut sharpen this blade and you can see too much material on this side and not enough here so i'm gonna go put it back on there grind this down more and um see if i can get this to be balanced all right so here's the blade fixed it I took some more I don't remember which side this side I think and now it's balanced so that's it that's how you that's how I that's how I uh, sharpen the blades on for the mower and if I was gonna keep doing it I, I just keep doing it it's the same thing on all the blades I get some actually 15 blades but up chat so now i'm just going to take those those blades i just sharpened put them on the mower and i'm gonna cut the grass i don't know if you guys want to see me cut the grass i mean it's me just going back and forth cutting grass it's not that, that entertaining but we have uh about three acres here <sighs> buildings and stuff all around the the, uh, the land it takes me about an hour and a half on the on that zero turn mower the uh, snapper anyway i'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching Hope, hopefully this uh, maybe this helped you learn how to cut blades on uh, your for your mowers. I mean, go save some money. I don't. I can't remember the last time. Um, I think it was. I, I don't even remember. I, I can't. Remember. It's been so long that I had the blades cut. I don't know what the price is now. Um, maybe four bucks a blade or something to get them cut. And buying new blades. Buying new blades has gotten really expensive now. I do replace the blades every once in a while after they get too thin. I'll replace them like this blade here I'll probably cut one more time and that thing's gone because that thing's uh I'll throw these away and then I go take them to the scrapyard and I'll get some money for them. I'll probably get like 10 cents for those my son's weed whacking now all right well thanks for watching uh don't go spending a fortune going to, going to um, get your blade sharpened. You can do you can do it yourself. I mean, you can buy a vice. And what I have here is it's just a vice stand. You can go to Harbor Freight and get this whole setup. I don't know how much it costs, but a couple times cutting the blades, and it'll pay for itself. So if you have a big commercial mower, I'll, this is what I would do. They, they even they have um, actual grinders and stuff that you can buy to make it a little bit easier, but this is easy enough. I mean, when, like I said, when I went to watch them, the professionals, they do it all the time. That's what they use. They just use the grinder and, and, and a vice. So what the heck? Uh, all right. Thanks a lot for watching. Share this video if you have somebody that's wondering about what, what to do with your, your blades and you need to sharpen the blades. I mean, I don't, I know a lot of people buy a lawnmower and they never sharpen the blades. I mean, I never used to sharpen the blades until I had a, a, the lawn company. And I would, I'm like, hey, it's not cutting well anymore. I'm sharpening the blades, boom, it cuts, cuts awesome. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Share this video, like it if it, uh, if you thought, if you liked the video. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Get you later. Bye. Which, oh, which, which button is it here? This one. All right, bye. Why are there chairs in the background? <laughs>